morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Emily, and it's First Things First period on Friday, October 2nd, 2020. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. Students, make sure to check Student View in Google Classroom to keep updated on all your assignments. This is a great way to stay organized. Have you been checking up on your friends recently? I hope so, because social interaction is important, especially in a tough time like this. If you haven't talked to your friends in a while, don't worry. There are plenty of ways to chat with one another. You can use platforms such as Zoom, FaceTime, Discord, and iMessages. If you are going to use any of these, be sure to get your friend's contact info first. Talking to friends will take your mind off of your worries and help you relax. On top of that, they know what you're going through, so there is someone you can confide in. Hey, Celine. What's up, Emily? We all love some refreshing treats. How about let's learn how to make a strawberry store ray? Sounds like a great idea. Speaking of dessert, this Sunday, October 4th, is Cinnamon Roll Day. So why not do some Cinnamon Roll trivia? For our first question, what year was Cinnamon Roll Day first celebrated? We will give you 10 seconds to answer this question. If you answered 1999, you'd be correct. In 1999, Cinnamon Roll Day was first celebrated work, but where was the day created? We'll give you 10 seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is Sweden, where it was believed that sweet treat originates. So Jags, this weekend, don't hesitate to indulge into a warm, delicious cinnamon roll. Wow, Emily, I can't even believe it's almost the end of the term. I know, right? It's, so, it's good to be productive, so let's learn the science on how. This is too overwhelming. I can't even be productive. Well, I think I have the solution to that. Really? Can you help me? Of course. Hey everyone, finals are right around the corner and we all want to do well and be productive. So what's the science behind productivity? Most people depend on their willpower in order to be productive, but studies show that willpower can actually be used up. The better approach is to just get started, but that sounds easier than it is. Well, many studies prove that people tend to think about all the difficult parts of a task before they even start, and then they lose motivation. Instead, your brain urges you to do other unproductive tasks that simulate real work, aka procrastination. Luckily, a construct of the mind called the Zeigarnik effect compels humans in finishing what they have started. But what about time management? Studies show that practicing with moderate effort over an extensive amount of time is less effective than practicing deliberately, taking breaks, and mainly focusing on the difficult parts with high effort. Using a schedule or to-do list can also help you be more productive. Well, I know assignments are piling up and you're feeling a little bit more stressed, but always remember, break larger projects into smaller steps, always rest when needed, and believe in yourself. I finally understand. Thank you so much. Interesting. Now let's talk about sports. The NBA Finals start this week. It is the Miami Heat versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Football has also started. This week, the 49ers beat the New York Giants 36-9. And the Panthers beat the Chargers 21-16. In soccer, Liverpool beat Arsenal 3-1. And Leicester City beat Man City 5-1. To two. That's it for sports. Watch out for the NBA Finals. It's going to be a good game. Hey, Celine, did you hear about the club starting up? I did. Did you hear about the LGBTQ plus club? Not yet. So let's go to Abby to learn more. 
Hey Jags, I'm Abby and today I'll be telling you about the LGBTQ plus club. The most common sexualities are lesbian, bisexual, pansexual, gay, asexual, and heterosexual, also known as straight. Just note there's a lot more sexualities and these are just a few. In this club, we are very supportive and accept who you are. We will accept everyone, even straights. We will also learn about some of the history of LGBTQ. Everyone in this club has their own opinion about this subject. Your voice will be heard and we will not leave anyone behind. Here are some opinions that we had. P.S. These will stay anonymous. Some of the opinions we have are, we are very supportive should be able to love who you want to, should be normalized, respecting us goes a long way, we are like a big family, still humans, not a perfect community but do support each other, and we have many different people and pronouns but we still want to be respected like others. Thanks for watching Jags. If you are interested in joining this club, please come and check it out. We love meeting new people. Remember, we accept you for you. Sounds like a blast. I'll have to join. Did you know it's Naruto's 21st birthday? Naruto is an anime that was world famous, and the creator, Masashi Kishimoto from Japan, didn't even know until people started sending him fan mail. It all started with one book. Naruto is an action-packed series about ninjas, and the plot keeps you on your toes. 21 years of Naruto. I can't think of any other series that has such an influence on me growing up. It is truly special, and it's been with me so many, so, through so much in my life, good and bad, and will forever be my all-time favorite franchise. This is just one of the reviews about the 21st anniversary of Naruto. Naruto, Naruto has been split into Shonen, and, Shonen, Shonen Jump, Shippuden, and Baruto. It is a 20 season anime to get your popcorn, so get your popcorn candy and start watching. Enjoy the tales of Naruto. It has teached watchers all around the world mo important lessons about life. From 1999 to 2020, and still going. We love you. What will you do to celebrate Naruto's 21st birthday? I don't know about you, but I ran out of books to read. Then let's look at some book recommendations. Hey Jax, do you like fantasy novels full of magic and adventure? Stories about other worlds? If so, read Kingdom of Ruins by DC Marino. Kingdom of Ruins is about a girl named Lori that discovers a world of things one could only dream of. Another good read is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Mistborn is about an uprising against a cruel emperor called the Lord Ruler. If you like action and adventure with a twist of fantasy, then this is the book for you. I can't wait to read them. They seem very interesting. And that's it for today's show. Tune in next week for more stories and information on... First Things First on TJTV. I'm Emily. Thanks for watching. And I'm Celine. Make today your best day yet.